Hello YouTube and welcome to your 19th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about logical operators. Now in my last tutorial, I taught you how to nest if statements. And I told you that this isn't very efficient, but sometimes you will need to use it. And other times you don't have to use it. And for those times when you don't have to use it, there's these things called logical operators. Now these can be used with a lots of other stuff other than if statements. So if you remember we had an int that was age and we had a boolean that was um, has insurance and if both of those were true then it would say that you can drive. Now to, the way we did this was we nested the if statements inside of each other. Now there's an easier way to do this. So let's come up here and go ahead and create this set in age equals 16 and boolean or bool insurance equal to true now we'll create a simple if statement so if age is equal to 16 then we want to do whatever is inside these brackets or here if age equals equals 16 then do whatever is inside these brackets now other than having age equal to 16 for a person to legally drive they also have to have insurance so the way we can test this is by using the and operator which is done by using two ampersand signs so if age equals equals 16 and insurance equals equals true then do whatever's inside this so we'll just see out you can drive legally. Now if we run this, it should work because our age is equal to 16 and we have insurance. So it's going to say that. Now let's come back in here and just change this a little bit. Let's change this to greater than or equal to. That will cover all the ages outside of 16. And now if we come up here and change insurance equal to false, when we run the program, since both of those, um, both of those statements have to be true, then it won't print anything out because, not both, because only one of them is true. When you're using the AND operator, both of your arguments have to be true. So age, in our case, age is greater than or equal to 16, but insurance is not equal to true. So it's not going to execute the code inside the if statement. Now there's another thing that you can use, which is called the or operator. And this is by using two straight up lines like this. Now these characters right here are right underneath your backspace key. And what this means is if age is greater than or six greater than or equal to 16 or insurance is equal to true then see out you can drive or you can drive legally but let's just change that to you can drive so in this in our case only one of these has to be true when you use the or so now if we run this it will say you can drive but if both of the cases are false, then it won't then it won't execute the code that's inside the if statement. So this is a pretty simple tutorial. You're going to find this very useful when you're making your programs. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe.